Oh, wow, wow, what a flop. What a turn card it is, Marcel. Yes, wow. he's gone for the check rip. That was a picture column turn. It is the queen. Oh my gosh. It is the queen. Well, here you go. I told you. He doesn't scare easy, this guy. He moves it all in. What's up, poker fans? Welcome back to another Black Cash Poker video, where we bring you the best highlights and moments of the most entertaining poker events. Before getting into it, we would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos consistently. Into Pascal's big blind. He with ace 10. And obviously, Marcel, these guys, such big stacks. They just got to be cagey here. Against each other, right? Neither of them wants to lose a, they or neither wants to play a big pot. It's just too much at risk at this stage they, of a final they, table. Yeah, they cannot make a mistake. And well, they so rather play each other heads up later. Yeah. And you see here, Pascal does flop middle pair, Jan with an open and straight draw. And given what we just said, I may expect to see this one go check, check. Reminds me of the, always in the back of my mind, when I watch this cards open commentary, then most of the time is he who dares <laughs> wins in play. And Pascal will make the call with his second pair. Wow. wow, look at this. Pascal turns aces up, Jan turns top pair, but three hearts on board and, and obviously still dangerous board at jack 10-9. Yes, and, and a flush draw. He's going to bet big here. 21-5, trying to price out some draws. It's no good to have two pair when you're facing a straight and a flush. But this will be a last bullet course from Yan you would expect he'll be looking for this one to go check check on the river and try and win the pot at showdown unless, unless maybe a seven came on the river he might bet it. that card oh, wow well, look at this Pascal makes the runner run at house if it does of course go check check Pascal will table his house he now up to 291 million chips Yan down to 181 chip and ICM considerations Katai a man they may start raising Katai has made quite a few folds he yeah. went for this one to a raise though against fight Dominic. Too many good hands, so try to make a medal, medal call now. And wow, look at this flop. King 6 4, Katai at bottom two pair. Don with backdoor clubs. Going to make a continuation bet. Just 4 million the bet. Tai does make the call with bottom two. Will give his opponent some room to hang himself. Oh, what a turn card it is, Marcel. The jack of clubs. Dom now needing a 10 or club. I feel like uh, we know he got 12 hearts now. If you get to, to, hit, to hit to any hand. Yeah, he may feel an ace or queen would be good as well. But he might check it now to get his outs. Right, it's an <coughs> option of he can check and hit his outs or he can bet big and try and make a six or a four fold. As we can see, he won't make six four fold and he does backdoor the nut flush. And that's where uh, well, you get from hero to zero with yeah. your two pair. But I played it cautious on the flop and has allowed Dom in to make a backdoor flush. And now Dom in the beautiful position of how much to bet with the nuts. Well, second nuts. Five, seven of clubs would be a straight flush. This is Texas Holder, Marcel, not Omaha. We don't worry about stuff like that. But it's not always the case. You know. Doesn't have the ace and clubs and king clubs all the time, and he does make a good fold yes, there. Very good fold. I like that fold from Katai. Cool. With his ace five, you would think, although he doesn't want to put more pressure on again, like we saw before. But how might ace five? I think it's be the best time. Maybe you want to play a flop. Well, yeah. This is interesting to see how much pressure Pascal wants to put on his opponents here. Definitely can. Three bet, and here we go. Yes. Here we go. For the second orb in a row, Pas uh, Jan raises the button, and Pascal three bets from the big blind. And, well, Jan may be getting a little sick of this, but he's, right. just, he's just handcuffed, isn't he? He can't really proceed here with these short stacks behind. This is exactly why we saw Thomas limp a minute ago, so you don't get this. It's not if Pascal's going to be three betting you, you just have to start I've limping these buttons. Is he the now he's, the playing a, he's playing a big pot, Marcel, where he could potentially bust in eighth place, yes. and that's just disaster. This is the extra pressure. 
This is disaster if you were to bust in eighth place. Look at this. And now he's been outflopped. Let's check it over to Jan. I think it will make it harder for Jan to run any kind of bluff here. He does, of course, bring the second heart. And Jan has the ace of hearts in his hand. So Pascal, happy to check his pair over again. And wow, what a, what a run out this is. Jan now with the best hand. That nine turning out to be a great card. Well, you feel... You see, now you're thinking about the flop when he would have batted out with his continuation bet. He wouldn't have this problem. He does check oh it back. I like that play. Yeah, I know you like it because you don't take any risk. <laughs> yeah. Problem is, what hands is Pascal going to check cool with? As it happens, he has an ace. Yeah. But there aren't many hands Pascal's going to check cool with, and he can, of course, always be check raise ripping on me, and then you're just well. Now I've got to call it off yeah. with his ace. I saw one just there. Yeah. Yeah, I might be a dead devil on the wrong moment. Right, well, look at this. It's Stevie then will also play this last hand before the break. Uh, so Jan raising up under the gun. Steve, and look at this Dom with Queen Jack clubs on the button. You feel like he's going to come into this. Oh yeah, well. he's going to come in. He's great position. He does make the call. He will make the call. So a rare four-way flop here, Marcel, on this final table. And wow, look at this. Three, four, ten. Diego does flop bottom two. Jan with top pair. Dominic with some backdoor draws. And Stevie still his pair of sevens. Well, he does check it. Dom with two overs. He does check. So all four check this flop. Turn. Wow, what a turn card that is for Dominic. Fourteen million the bet. I mean Jan is in a pretty icky spot here. I don't think Jan is gonna call this one. Yep. He's gonna go like what if he has a king ten of clubs and uh, I think I yeah. think you can't you can't fold this early and of course but Dom with a pretty easy call here. Two other cards open a straight draw and that club flush draw. Yeah. First Dom of course will call. So look at this Marcel. Best part of 70 million in the pot going onto this river. Not many safeguards for Diogo. That is not one of them. Dom makes his flush. Diogo's two pair not looking so smart now. What yeah. do you see him going with here? Obviously, it's not the nut flush. Uh, each of those silver chips. Worth 55. Five million. So he's gone 55 million. Tioko got himself in a horrid spot. He will fold in or Yan. You see, he, he has the Jack of Diamonds in his hand, Marcel, which is obviously a card you want yeah. Dom to have if he's bluffing. You want Dom basically to have a missed straight draw there. It's kind of Dom's only bluff. The Jack of Diamonds does block that. So he folds that one. Dom winning the last big pop before the end of that level. Thomas raising up the king queen, then in the cutoff and Diogo. Well, maybe you need your glasses just to see that it was king three yeah, off suit. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those 90. eye test things there. It's a uh, ninety. Whoa. Yeah, well, we had Marcel in the booth earlier and saying he, well, he used to wear a few of these shirts back in the days <laughs> in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. wow, what a flop this is! Disaster for Diogo. Wow. King, king. Five flop. Thomas trip kings with a queen kicker and Diogo with a three kicker. I mean, he's taken a, he's taken a play here, guys, and well, it, the deck's not rewarded him. <laughs> I mean, this is all going to go in, isn't it, at some stage? Thomas will just call you'd imagine. There it is. And as Alex says, you, you feel like it has to go in. He's got less than pop back, back as it is. He'll probably go in by the river. It'll be at another small bet on the turn, I imagine. Yeah, we've seen uh, Thomas limp a couple of buttons and now decides to three bet this spot. Obviously, the, the blinds have gone up um, and Thomas had won some more chips. And so well, 15 into 65. It just calls. Yeah. Does not raise here. He does just call. <laughs> and. Well, the nine on the river will change nothing. And as you say, Alex, you can almost be certain this will go, what, check and then a shove. Yeah. And, well, a pretty fast call. Yeah, I mean, 
you're going to see Ace King sometimes, but that's just imagine. Yeah, you just, I mean, you, you, I suppose you do ha have to shove, but he does yeah. move all in, and will get snapped. That's the one thing he didn't want to happen yeah. was to get snapped. And well, he will show his king queen. Oh. And so another double up on this final for Thomas. Dominic's raised up ace queen and Katai with 20 bigs. Well, just under 20 bigs and pocket nines. It it's a pretty yeah. easy jam for him. And well, Dom with a decision here. And it comes back to him, right? It's a 19 big blind rejam, but with the ICM spots as they are, oh. how likely is Katai to be light here? <laughs> Dom's also going to be considering that if he loses this pot, he'll go from go into a much less strong position. He won't be able, he won't be one of the top stacks. He'll be one of the mid stacks, and then he'll get pressure applied to him rather than be the one applying the pressure. So that's a big consideration. Yeah. Wow, that's why he lays it down. Oh. I think he's, I think doesn't he has often, to call here. Doesn't often take this long, Dom. Well, he didn't call before with Ace Queen. I don't know if he's going to call here with Ace Seven. Right, he is going to yeah. flick in one of those, I guess, He's 25 calling. million chip pots, new blue chips in <laughs> play. Seven. Well, seven, eight, four. The seven doesn't change too much. Well, there's his chance. Jack on the turn. Nine will now give him a straight queen or ten for a winning pair. He picks up four more out. Never easy. Never easy, says Alex for Dom. He wants to see the board just pair up. And the river is the nine. The nine. He does backdoor the straight, sits back down. <laughs> the dream continues. Well, this thing we've been we've been trying to get guys to jump on the My Party Poker Live chat and uh, fire in their their forecast bets. Who's going to come first? Who's going to come second? And well, Dominic featured quite highly in in the top two quite often in one of those places, as did Stevie. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Pascal is the man in the driving seat now, so hard to see him not finishing the top two, but. I'm a big fan of Dominic. I think Dominic's going to be in the mix there somewhere. I just haven't quite figured out who the other player's going to be. <laughs> wow. Surprised people are write, writing off Pascal, chip leader and oh, no, we had a beast. Had, yeah, I mean, Pascal was in quite a few of the guesses at early doors. I'm going to go for uh, fellow Brit, Adam Owen. Adam Owen, I, I, I like it. I'm liking his, uh, wow. his heart so far. His ace four off three bet. His uh, you know, sneaky check on the flop with the nuts. Uh, his skills, you know, rivering that straight to double up. That's uh, very <laughs> that's important. Sk that's an important skill to have yeah. more than the uh, I think more than three the betting from the blind. <laughs> yeah. It's important to be able to hit the yeah, card yeah. you need just when you need it. As, well, Stevie hits a card he didn't want to hit. He improves to a pair of fives. I like these two guys playing this pot. Yeah, Stevie's, Stevie's the beast this week. He's got a hand he can check now. Yeah. And that's what he does do. A one finger check. <laughs> wow. 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 This is why Mike likes Stevie. <laughs> Very dreamy run out for him here. 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> he didn't have that many chips, but I guarantee you one thing. Didn't see. Oh, that's pretty He's good. looking to go for his second million uh, Euro <laughs> cash of the week. Wow. And well, Pascal will check his 10 Momentum over. Momentum is real, guys. I'm pretty proud of. What, what currency was that then? Colombian pesos. <laughs> <laughs> or Colombian dollars. I forget which one it was. <laughs> see how 14 much million. Steven Baird here. Let's block some houses and, of course, does block some flushes as well. It went check, check on. No, he's, he's folding or calling, I think. He's not. Yeah. Not because of the club. He was more afraid of that than he was three fives, that's for sure. Yeah. It is so true. If you, I think poker is the, the most mentally tough sport to play in the world, without a doubt. You've mm -hmm. got to be able to handle defeat. If you can't, you'll go stir crazy. Bounce your head off the wall. And tournament but boy, poker. those few times you get there and mm. make a nice cash makes up for all those horrible beats it. and bad yeah. walkouts that you have in the room. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's amazing how one good score, you know, <laughs> just keeps you fresh for another year or so. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, that was, you know, it's always the thing. M main event champions can't complain for their lifetime. Yeah. That's fair. Totally you the World Series main <laughs> event, that's it. You just totally agree. Yeah. Or the one drop or anything like that. I agree. I'm sure we've all seen past main event champions uh, tut and uh, curse at oh. things there. Hard to take them seriously when they do <laughs> so. Well, there must be some sort of statute limitations on that now. Like if we go back, I mean, does, yeah. does money maker, can he start complaining again? Yeah, <laughs> I mean. Well, I did make a vow that if I didn't go out on the bubble of the one drop tournament, you know, I was down to 10, they paid nine. You know, 10th was, I mean, 10th was zero, 9th was well over a million. Mm -hmm. And I said, please, Lord, just don't let me go out on the bubble here. I'll never complain about going on the bubble again as long as I live the rest of my life. <laughs> you made that. But I'm going, and I made it there, so I have no. I can't complain. 
<laughs> if I ever go right out of the bubble you, again. And, uh, you got that in writing. <laughs> of course, you wake so up. I've come close, but uh, I'm not complaining anyway, no matter what. Of course, I know you wake up each day and thank Sam Trickett for busting that bubble yeah, for you Sam nice and quick. Sam Trickett will always be my poker hero. <laughs> 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 he called a 4.2 million raise in that spot with a King 8 offsuit. <laughs> I'll never forget it. And he had the guy beat the guy at Queen 10. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> well, look at this part. It's quite interesting when we were talking there. Thomas went for nearly a full pot C bet on 9 deuce deuce with his Queen Jack. It's checked down since then. Wow. Interesting sizing from Thomas. Full it was, pot. Wow. Yeah, he, he fired huge on this flop. And it's run out running hearts. Stevie's hand got weaker and weaker on every street. Well, it is on him. 47 in the pot. Again, Alex, as you were saying, this is so big because if you win this pot, you'll stop your opponent winning it, and you can see how mm -hmm. close they are in chips yeah. now, so it makes a big difference yeah. to your position in the tournament. Well, it looks like he's listening. He's he called 20 it, million. 20 million. Boy. Yeah, Mike got one. <laughs> perfect size bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chip Book knows he's not going to bet a pair of kings here. He's probably just going to check it down. Yeah. So this is the kind of guy that's capable of... of Steve is going to go for looking the, him up here. the check rip. Rep the nines full. <laughs> Yes, wow. he's done for the check rip. He's repping the nines full. Wow. There we go. That's my awesome. boy, Stevie. Well, I'm glad I stayed to the end. That is Whoa. my boy. That was sick. Stevie's like, I can have nines full. You can't. Let's go. <laughs> no one's going to raise, uh, raise a pot up, Always Mike, when Stevie's got the button. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. If you just tuned in, folks, don't change that dial because there's not a weak link at this table. I can assure you of that. These guys can all play. Stevie does raise up that button. And Thomas defends a six. As you said, nobody three betting even with ace high. <laughs> no. You're, you're, just a, you're just a brave man who tries to play a putt when Stevie's got the button. But here comes the C bet by Steven. Well, Thomas is going to make a good call here. Yeah. His problem is how much more heat can he take? If Steven apps to apply it. Yeah, well, that's a just good turn cover him. Gives him an open-ended straight draw. Yep. Very good card for him. Well, Steven fires again. This time, 30 million. What are you going to do on the next street? Well, this is the thing, isn't it? He's put Thomas in a situation where Thomas pretty feels like if he wants to play this hand, he might have to just raise all in. But he does make the call, suspecting his ace high is still good. Well, we were talking about the three-barrel bluffs. Well, we see one more. Uh, I think Stevie might well give this one up. He's not a give-up kind of guy. <laughs> That's true. And also, what hand does Thomas check all the turn with? Well, here you go. I told you. He doesn't scare easy, this guy. He moves it all in. Thomas put to the sword. What a player. Thomas with just ace high. How can you call this bet? A couple of hands. Stevie just bullying Thomas out of these pots. So Stevie then up to 220 million in chips. Wow, he gives it up. Two great laydowns in a row. I mean, the first one was easy. That one wasn't so easy. Yeah. He doesn't believe Thomas is trying to bluff here. <coughs> well, Dom with Jack 10 off in the big. Seven right, not 75 right. Yeah. And he will call. Okay. And well, look at this flop. King 9-4. Dom does have a gut shot and, of course, backdoor clubs. But it is Tom with top set. Now, will he check the top set? That's the question. From behind. I think he'll bet 85 again. Five, you bet. Five million, the bet. And uh, that, that would be a little scary to me. I mean, you'd be sure, Dom, with that hand. I'm sure you try and call and make it straight. Yeah, he's getting the very price to call to hit the gut shot here. He does make the call. He's got to be a little bit leery about that small bet with his stack that size. There's a picture call and turn. It is the queen. Oh, my gosh. It is the queen. Wow. Well, maybe this is what's going to take to lose a player, Mike. Unbelievable. He's flopped top set. If he bets any amount, it's all going in. Well, he bets 12 million. Two pair. Adam has to move in here. Top pair or aces. Oh, 
I don't like this play. Dom is just going to call, cool, allow his opponent to bet one more time. But there are some river cards that will slow his action down. And of course, Thomas isn't dead yet. It could pair up. And it doesn't. And that is one of the cards that may slow things down. Except for maybe some bluffs. But he doesn't have many of those. Dom, of course, can kind of miss clubs or spades. And so he has way more bluffs possible. He does move all in. Now you're afraid he made a straight. If you really think about it, the jack's all it can have. Wow. What a lay down. Can't believe he saved that $35 million. And I will... I will do this last hand with you, Johnny. I always do two commentary, but I will hand it back over to Mike. Or is Mike, hang on, I'll find out what Mike wants to do. Mike at the moment is taking a little break, but he's in here watching. We did have three in here earlier, but the sound's quite difficult. Well, here we go, look at this. Thomas has moved all in with ace three of hearts. Well, seven, five, three, flop. Thomas does flop bottom pair to go with it. Of course, can still win the pot with an ace of three, but it is the 10 of diamonds. So, well, a good effort from Thomas. He was first at risk of the nation on this final table, doubling up early with King Jack against Dom's 5-6 of diamonds. Ryan, I think, going on. These guys share that shirt out when they make a final. Well, look at this straight away. It is his <laughs> countryman, Katai, all in at risk with Ace Jack. He's in good shape, though, so far. But a King 6-4 flop. And, well, Katai's face says it all. Diogo out flopping his opponent with a four. Katai will need a jack or some runners. Turn an eight, only a jack. And it is a 10. The 10 of diamonds will seal Katai's fate. So as quick as that, we had to bust out for four hours and then two in two hands. I, mean, I, uh, I only need to be here eight hands and then we're done. We should, yeah, we should get you here. <laughs> but as you say, Katai obviously did earn another 100,000 euros by lasting that one extra hand. If you guys would like to see more final table highlights from the biggest events in the world, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications as we do our best to provide highlights on a weekly basis. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the video. Well, ace, jack, three, all clubs. Pascal has flopped top pair. Stevie with a gut shot and, well, one of the worst hands you can have on this board. Not a club in his hand. Have to fire. He do fire he does. Pascal, of course, will be going nowhere with his top pair. He does indeed make that call. Turn a king. All right, it's definitely not. It's definitely not a two barrel. If you fire two, you've got to fire the third yeah. on this kind of ball texture because. Oh, here we go. Smells like a three. Here we go. Well, he does make the call. Stevie needed a lot of help here. Ninety-two million chips in the pot. And well, a club on the river. But does Stevie really have <laughs> many clubs he can bet this river with? Surely if he had the king of clubs, he checks back the turn. If not, the flop. He is going for it. 75, 70 million. <laughs> He's going big, Johnny. Uh, I hope he has a lot of time bags left. This is. But would, I mean, does Stevie have the king of clubs here? I don't think he does. I don't, he might even check back the flop. He certainly would check back the turn with a pair and a flush draw. So to then bomb yeah. this river. And does he make the sizing with the queen of clubs? Well, Pascal doesn't give him much thought. We'll just give it away. And again, Stevie bullying this table, closing in on 400 million chips. And who's going to stand up to him? Tom has raised the button up with the aces. And well, Jan in the big blind with 10-9. If he gets the right flop, he could hurt the chances of Dom coming second, I guess. And wow, what a flop it is. Six, eight, Jack. Yeah, and with the open-ended straight draw. Hmm. Dom's one pair still ahead. A lot of danger here, though. The one hand you don't look against when you've got aces is a, is a hand like a straight draw. You're only going to get serious action. There's so many dangerous cards to Dominic here. Oh, 
Yan will call with his open ender. Nice rainbow board. Well, turn is an eight. Obviously, Dom knows his opponent can have an eight, but it does, of course, limit him getting outdrawn by Jack X or Six X. But it's a, this is a spot if if. Uh, might go check check here. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna say and if Yan checks this and Don bets, it's definitely a spot Yan could pull off a check craze, right? Twenty-two. 22. Oh, he oh wow! He let out. Yan has let out again. Uh, obviously, Don Reed never has an eight here. You'd think Yan can. And well, Dom does make the call pretty quickly. We have a hundred million chips in this pot. And well, four on the river. Dom will win this pot unless he folds. Which if Jan follows up, is a possibility. Sixty-seven million the bet. But it Dom is so snap cool. calls. His ace is good. Jan then. Oh, just as I said, I think he's going to finish <laughs> round of the top three. He loses a huge pot. Down to ten bigs. And it's down to ten big blinds. Cool. Wow. He is going to make a play here on Stevie. Wow, well, Stevie calls to see the flop. What a boss. What? <laughs> Diogo with pot behind. How does he do it, Johnny? That was surprising. Uh... How does he do it? And look at this. Ace, eight, three. Diogo out flops him. Flopping two pair. Stevie will feel pretty good about this flop, though, you'd have thought. Let's flop top pair. Let's see ahead of... The pocket pairs. Well, Stevie will bet here, try and get some value from those big pocket pairs. He hopes he's just outdrawn. Well, check rip. Interesting play there, Johnny. That Stevie was shrugs and calls. Worst of the options he could do. And Stevie very surprised to I'm see. Going. Well, I'll turn Jack. Stevie will now need a Jack 9 or 8. Oh, it is a Jack. What a disgusting. Of course, the 8 would have been a chop. He needed a Jack or 9 to win. That is what's come off. Stevie hits a huge river in a 256 million chip pot. Unbelievable there for Diogo. Three bet the ace three, flopped two pair. But couldn't get past the river and Stevie will of course leave with 450,000 euros. And now Johnny, can anyone stop Stevie with this many chips? Yeah, three betting would be a little bit crazy with his hand. And well, nice flop. Yeah, 10, 4, 4, two diamonds. Pascal, one over, and the flush draw. Stevie, top pair. I imagine Pascal would just check call this hand. Stevie does bet 7.5. Could also raise, um, well, that's what which he's is do. what he's doing. These guys are all putting the pressure back on Steve. He's been bashing them around, and they've clearly drawn a line in the sand. Yeah, on a board like this, where it's uh, two two low cards that are paired, um, so like a pair <laughs> on the board that, that is low, um, I think it makes a bit more sense to check raise with like. A four, and then and with bluffs would be something like five six of hearts. Uh, with with a flush draw, I mean the thing is your your the the, call, the hands that your opponent calls with like generally, you know you're just when you check raise a bluff here, you're basically trying to make them fold like some random hand that has very little equity anyway. So when you have so much equity with uh, you know a strong flush draw, right? You know you're not you're not making them fold that much equity against you anyway. So, uh, so when you check raise, they like fold, you know, whatever, uh, you know, something like, something like King Jack, Black King Jack, or something. Well, Pascal does check. Doesn't have a gut shot draw to go with that overcard and diamond draw. 
Yeah, Pascal's kind of in a weird spot on this turn after check raising. Uh, I think on balance I prefer barrel here. Because you're, you're, you're not really... I mean, the king... Okay, yeah, if you're check raising a 10 for value on the flop, then yeah, the king's pretty bad for you. <laughs> oh, hello. Straight right. and a flush. He's found a diamond on the river, improves to a flush. Stevie, though, now has two other cards to his flop pair. Yeah, also a card that he's going to be very likely to bluff with. If he did have a hand like, say, five, six of hearts, right. the check raise a flop, and then it runs out like this, he would for sure be, be bluffing. So, uh, so I think Pascal is a pretty easy bet here. It's somewhat hard for Stevie to represent a, uh, a full house here. And he does. Of course, having checked by the turn, give it up on the river. Pascal, over 300 million. Here we go. He looks ready to fight back, though. Well, he might fight back with this hand. There we go. So they're playing 50 bigs, effective. Well, maybe 49. Interesting spot for Stevie. I mean, your hand is obviously good enough to go for, for a value three bet, like but you really don't want to play a 100 big blind pot uh, pre-flop with jacks when you're the two chip leaders. Right. Um, so I can understand the call here a lot. Well, an 8-8-4 eight, eight, flop. Pascal does have the hearts cover with his ace. Also not surprised to see Pascal check back. Probably f check. <laughs> he probably has checked back. Obviously not just because he's got SI, but Stevie has just been putting these guys in positions constantly. And well, there's an interesting turn card. Mm. Stevie's overpair now is a flush draw, but Pascal's ace high has the nut flush draw. He's going big. Full pot. Have some of that pot size bet. People really don't check back an eight on this flop very often. There we go, he does make the call. And if he did check back a flush draw, then the jack of hearts is also good. You know, sorry, if, if he is the kind of person that would check back a flush draw, then jack wow. of hearts is good. Well, 108 million in the pot. Stevie makes his jack high flush, but not, Pascal has the nut flush. Not a fantastic river card for Stevie. Right, he's either ahead a lot of the time or he's been at draw now, right? Yeah, it's very hard to get value here. Um, if, if he bets, he's trying to get called by a worse flush or an eight. Uh, but I already, as I said earlier, it's kind of hard for Pascal to have an eight, and there aren't that many worse flushes. So I think Stevie's hand works best as a check call here. Uh, Stevie also has like you know uh, full houses and better flushes. So Stevie has checked it. Pascal now deciding <coughs> how much to bet with the nut flush. But the jack of hearts is a very good bluff catcher here. 80 million is the bet. And he uh, yeah. snap calls. Stevie sees the bad news, and wow, suddenly Stevie, one of the shorter stacks. Yeah, Pascal. I mean, pa Pascal only repping the, the ace of hearts or, you know, pocket eights or pocket sixes, really. He does make the call. Here we go then, off to the races. So, Yan at risk with ace nine. Jack five, six, the flop. So far, so good for Adam. Turn is another jack. Yan needs an ace or nine on the river, otherwise he will be the fifth place finisher. River is the queen of spades. It is Yan out in fifth, and all of a sudden, Adam has navigated his way up to two or four on this final table. I know he's about to have a quick chat with Marinella, I'm sure. He used to. Stevie, an ace, and a big blind. As I said, don't believe that 152 is correct. I think you're the 115. Yeah. He does just cool. Well, King Seven Deuce, Pascal with top pair, Stevie with bottom pair. Such a broken board. It's hard to see Stevie not losing some chips here. Yeah, Stevie is going to call a uh, flop definitely. That is, again, just over 25%. I think he will just check over with his high anyways. He, like the deuce is kind of irrelevant. Not, I mean, obviously it's better to have it, but he would, if he had like SX, he would just check core as well because right. it's like the driver's board and he expects Pascal to be building it with pretty much everything in this spot. And he only bets 10 million into like 37 too, so. 
easier than you imagine. We'll check it over, and he does. Pascal quickly checks that king back for deception. Does Stevie now, you think, go for some exceptionally thin value, or is it is it just too risky off that short stack? Mm. I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's close. I mean, like, he can just get caught by an ace, right? And even then, it's not so sure that Pascal calls with an ace. I think it's really a bit too thin in that particular spot. Does it make the call to the bad news? So yeah, let's say I think that's about 40 mini, 40 million heavy on Steven's chip count there. And I'm with 85. <laughs> Stevie's stare down so intense, isn't it? That's it, go as well. Oh, well, Stevie surely will rip this in. How much does that Stevie? 56, I believe. 56. Oh. Tom's going to call with 8 7. Ah. Bad news for him. Stevie is dominating yeah. with the ace 7. Well, a king 9 deuce flop. No good so far for Dominic, but he does have a backdoor straight and flush draws now. 7 doesn't. Yeah, it's a 7. A bit of a needle makes a pair, but no good. Only an 8 will do it for Dom. And well, the ace on the river, so Stevie doubles up, and it's now Dom's turn to be the micro stack once more. 56. Right, it's obviously, it's obviously a hand that when it does hit a flop is almost always going to win. Big pocket threes. It's a lot of difference, isn't it, to playing like a hand like King Jack or something, right? Yeah, You're getting a lot of difficult spots with one pair. Well, 775, two diamonds. Pascal has that overcard. It's a pretty good stuff for both of them, though. Of course, five would counterfeit Adam. But if Pascal puts a lot of pressure, it's going to be really tough for Adam to sustain the hand. He does bet 12 million. He does indeed make the call. And oh, wow. wow! That is the card Adam wanted to see. And, and well, Pascal does try and put the pressure on him now. Given the uh, ICM considerations. Yeah, yeah, it's quite likely that he does actually. He's going to get himself in a lot of trouble. I mean, that's a, that's a great play to bet the turn because if you think like. It would look just way too strong if he raises in that spot. Alright, so he just scores. It's like the spot, like, I don't know, he just. Especially with the ICM factor and everything, it looks pretty like way too strong if he. And if he raises and he doesn't let Pascal eat something or keep bluffing. There's just so much more value in uh, check calling. And Does it have really uh, any nutted hands other than fives? Uh, fives fives full and threes Yeah, but he gives it up. Yeah. With his stack, do you call him here? Make call. He does make the call, wow. Mike. Wow. Dominic in great shape to double up here. And the other two guys are saying, turn up a three, turn up a three. Ten deuce four, either side of that three. Well, backdoor flush, backdoor <laughs> straight draw. But the flush doesn't help him. Wow, five. Pascal now needing an ace or one of Dominic's sixes. He has seven outs to eliminate Dominic. The good thing for Dominic is not much chance of chopping this pot. Oh, it is oh. the ace. He hits the ace, makes the wheel. To take down the pot, to eliminate Dominic, what a horrible beat to take. He was almost certainly going to double up there. <laughs> it's a good chance of a split before that, but that river card, that turn card gave him. And both Pascal and Adam be, have played very well at this final could be table. In too. Look, Pascal was limp with the King-10 suit on the button. Stevie jams A7 what from the big. Uh, I think Pascal is limited to call here. He has called Mike. Look uh, at he's this. He's going to call. Is it possible he could outdraw somebody in back-to-back -back pot? Bingo, bango, bongo. He doesn't happen as an eight comes off. Well, they should congratulate this guy. Absolutely. The guy's made two seven digit caches. Exactly. Whoa. A million both times. And what an, <laughs> what an impressive performance from Adam. He came in as, I think, the shortest stack. So, where's the map times, Mike? I know people have had shares of someone who's made the final of the main event at the World Series of Poker, which has got to be the best tournament in the world to have a share of someone in. Yes, it does. And uh, it's never been me. Me neither. 
And I've taken a lot of shares in the main event. No big money ever. Well, Pascal did raise this one up, queen eight. Checking second pair there. Just a mystery to me. Very safe card for him. Adam with just a gut shot. Yeah, he allowed himself a chance to make that gut shot, though. I mean, middle pair playing heads up. Pretty strong. Well, he hasn't listened to the bluff, though, Mike. Well, he's enticed it right here. One benefit's checking back. He's got his opponent to put some chips in with just six high. Now, even I'm going to go out on a limb and say zero chance he's going to fold this. Oh, he's, yeah. He's 100% calling this one down. Oh, look what's happened. My word. Adam Owen pings jackpot. Makes the eight high straight. Uh, he's trying to figure out how much can he get paid off. The guy checked the flop, but he did call me on the turn. All right, it looks like he's got a hand. He wants to get a showdown. I think he's going to bet about $40 million. Wow, he's checked it. Well, that's crazy. The guy didn't bet the flop. He's not going to bet the turn. Well, we can see a hand as strong as he's got. He probably is going to bet this river. Adam would have bet a jack. Pascal has well, a queen kicker with his eight. Yeah. He's, gonna he's think got he's a hand, you, hand here. Yeah, he's got a hand you would think is the best hand for sure. And he will bet. The question is what to do when he gets check raised. But this, you know, even if he folds, it sets up an interesting dynamic. A lot of yeah. getting check raised on the river early in this heads up match. And there you go, there is that 40 million bet. 170. 170 million. Well, 170 million. It's 50 more million than I suggested. He's gone big. He has gone big. Now, will Pascal think he's bluffing him here this early in this heads-up match? He just called on the turn. Now he's got raised on the river. He does give it up, so he does make that decision correct. He lets it go. And, well, his friends are singing. I promise you he didn't want to fold there. Well, the theory, obviously, you get twice as many hands out at least playing heads-up as you would in a multiplayer game, which is true. Look at this, he's going to three bet it. Once again, Adam putting all the pressure on his opponent. Clearly he wants to play big pots heads up. Seventy-five million to bet. Now, isn't that a little bit too much to call with Queen Eight? Well, no. It's not. These guys are playing poker, Mike. Well, now they're playing for sure. Pascal's got out of his tight mode. His problem is if he doesn't catch anything on the flop like this hand, one bet is going to take it away from him. This is it, Mike. As you always say, in these situations, the aggressive man will always win the pot. Well, this is going to be a 75 million bet for sure. And if Adam wins this pot, he will take the chip lead. Pretty incredible. Started a two and a half to one dog. It's a 35 wow. million chip bet. It also might show weakness. He may raise it. It was too small of a bet, like I predicted. He does get called here. He could get this pot taken away from him if he loses aggression. Now an ace comes off. Now, well, obviously, whoever bets at it now will certainly win it. You feel that would worry both players. You might, like, obviously... Uh, Pascal may think Adam would have C bet with his ace highs, and Adam probably thinks Pascal would have floated with his ace highs. Well, I think Adam, oh, he is checking here. He's going to give Pascal a chance to win this pot with a bet. Any big card would give him a split pot. And there it is. <laughs> if it's checked down, it's going to be a split pot. What a split pot it will be, Mike. Both these players playing a three bet. But if somebody's got the moxie to bet, they are going to win this pot. Adam was the pre-flop aggressor. I think he missed a bet on the turn, and he's going to miss another one here. Pascal may check this back, thinking his queen high is good. I don't think you really think it is. You're hoping it's good. Right. It's going to be a split pot if he does check it. Not but if nice. he bets, here he's going to win this pot. A big bet, Mike, looks like. 150 million. You know, it's like he puts his opponent on two sevens and can get him off of it with a bet. That's exactly it. That's what he's trying to make him fold. It's some sort of pocket pair. 
Pascal would have played an ace this way. He would have called the flop with his ace high. He would have probably checked back the turn to trap. If he could check raise here, just give him the trophy. <laughs> End it. Oh! oh, my gosh. He's done it. Mike he has done it. it. Oh, my gosh. What a play. I love the guy. Oh, my oh. word. Nine high like a boss will be jumping through hoops when he sees what he did here. Mike, you said it. If you can check Grace here, give him the trophy. And look at that. The chip sacks have switched around from the start. It is now Adam with a two to one chip lead. But you have to salute your opponent when they make a good play like that. Inside, you just say, Ugh, man, this guy's tough. But you appreciate as a poker player when guys are in their pots. And look at this. Adam, three betting yet again, pops up to 75 million. Continuing to play big pots, these guys. Can you afford to call this if you're Pascal? You're in position. Pascal must be work, trying to work out what exactly is happening in this match. It's Came in with a two and a half. It's 57 million more. He's going to make the call. If he doesn't connect with this board, He's going to lose another pot by getting outplayed. But he's fighting for pots. He didn't give it up there. And he's flopped top pair. Mm -hmm. Adam with the gut shot straight draw. And the backdoor flush draw. And expecting to bet this flop. Yeah, I mean, he's a uh, two-bet pre. This is definitely one of the better flops for him to proceed on. But Pascal should shove, I think, if he does bet it. Be a big pot. There is the bet, 60 million. You just can't take a chance an overcard comes out there where you lose the tournament because of it. Right. Well, obviously, that's not the case here. And there but, you go. As but you, you don't know it. Yeah, I think you have to ship here. If he's got your beat, he's got your beat. But when you flop top pair, after calling 75 million before the flop. There we go then. And there you see, <laughs> he's lost his shoes. He's going to be able to afford to buy a new pair. Funniest when get thing down is here, they're though. saying it's easy game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he agrees. <laughs> this is fun. This is a fun this, match to watch here. Yeah, these guys are really going for it. A lot more exciting than the match we've had so far this week. I'll tell you what, they are both fighting for pots. You've got to salute it. Even the pots that Pascal has lost, he just got outplayed, but he bet the pots. He just got raised out of them. Yeah. Sheer aggression. Here's another case you just call. Pre-flop. Standard play with Queen Jack here for sure. And you're not happy about that flop. No, Adam does have an open and straight draw to go with the other card. So Adam with the best hand and the best draw. But you don't think you have both of those things <laughs> looking at that board. And again, if you bet here, can you stand a raise? So you may want to check this back and try and get yeah. to see these draws. And I he mean, does the, check it back. The problem is if a nine comes up, you're still sort of frozen. Right. But if a queen comes up, <laughs> well, you're loving it if you're Pascal. And that non bet by Adam, the first time he showed non aggression. Yeah, probably gonna heads cost up him. battle. It's going to cost him the pot, most likely. Pascal. Maybe not. He's going to get a chance to check it again. I want to check by Pascal here. Might lure him into betting this time to try to represent what he's got. Yeah, against such an aggressive opponent. He's good check by Adam here. Wow. And another queen comes off. Yeah, I think you have to bet if you're Pascal here. Right, and Adam may well has the best hand with King High. Yeah. Haven't faced a bet at any point okay. on this hand. He's checked the flop. He's checked the turn. So most likely he's got Ace or King High. And certainly he's going to check it down if you check behind him. So you have to bet here. Yeah. And that's what he's doing. He's bet, bet double the pot. 100 million into a 50 million pot. I don't think you can call it King High. 
in that situation. Although it does look like a bluff. That's why the overbet came. But he's got to have exactly jack 10 or jack 9. Yeah. Ten. You know, would he have called a race pre-flop with jack deuce or jack 3? I don't wow. think so. Wow. Well, he called it. The overbet worked. You had to put him on exactly jack 10 or jack 9. There's no other hand that you can beat there virtually. These guys are crazy, Mike. Look at this lead swing back and forth. Yeah. I'm not sure Adam thought that out very well. There it is. Well, he loves that 95 number. Might be too big to call, though. I'll tell you, another 73,000 or 73 million is big with just a queen nine. You know, you have to hit the flop to win it, and then you still might not win it. All right. Of course, we see it in terrible shape, but it does flop quite well. He does make the call, Mike. Look at this pot wow. size. 190 million chips oh. in the middle. As you can see, Adam, an 85% favorite to win this pot. Right. Well, Jack 6-5. That's exactly why you don't call. Yeah, Pascal completely Queen missing nine. this one. Now, if he was smart, he'd make a very small bet here. I know it's hard to do, but if you bet about 40 million here with the overpair, it looks like you just don't have a pair and your opponent might make a move at you. That's 100 million. Yeah. Just praying to hear the words all in. Can't go any farther with that. He'd raise it up. Again, making it big. 3.2. Down to 5 and 10 million. Yeah, maybe it's the sunglasses, mate. Can't tell the colors apart. Uh, this is a hand I would call if I was Pascal. And he has made the call. And wow, what a flop. Yep. Good start for him. Pascal flops it, middle pair, gut shot. And yeah. of course, the back door, heart draw. Adam with just a gut shot and that overcard. But because he's got that gut shot draw, he could well check this flop. Unless you put your opponent on King 10, well, you might get him out. You're not going to put him on a better hand. He does check it. Very nice check there. And the board pair of sevens. Now I think you take a bet if you're Pascal. Yeah, hand figures to be the best, but there are a lot of back cards on this river. And try and get some value against hands like ace high. So he's bet 40 million. Big bet. How much are you? I don't see Adam calling here. He might raise it. We've seen him be aggressive before, but just not going to call this with a gut shot straight, I wouldn't think. Well, <laughs> wow. He does call. Maybe thinking Queen High might be ahead. And he can actually win it if a nine comes up as well. And a 10 comes up. Won't change anything that, Mike. This is going to go check, probably bet, and called. It's check and call, open book here, in my opinion. Looks like he's going to go for a bit of value. And I'm surprised at this. He can actually get raised out of the pot now. Well, I think it's almost a block bet, isn't it? It's, it's quite a big bet still. It's 16 to 144, but he really doesn't want to face a big bet from Adam. Well, he allows himself to get outplayed here. Adam's sure not going to call this with Queen High. Can't call with Queen High. He's called with Queen High, Mike. How can you call a queen high? I, what two cards can a guy have? Again, he has to have exactly a jack nine. Yeah, I mean, he's, I, it's I don't just, know what he's doing there. You need him to have eight deuce, eight three. It's impossible like to call there with queen jack nine. <laughs> he just queen said nine. like a boss when he saw the nine six. You snap called. I'm proud of you. I was, yeah. Shout out my alone. I was like, I'm not going to give myself a chance to change my mind against Vanessa. I've, I've made my plan before I three better. This is it. We're going. Yeah. That was one of our most fun final tables ever on the World Poker Tour. It was, it was the most fun, most fun in my opinion, Mike. <laughs> well, you had a great rooting section, but we have Vanessa Seltzer, the aggressive yep. player. Always fantastic for a final table. Could have been the first woman to ever win a WPT title yeah, in an open and, event. Uh, Antonio, of course, was making his second final in a row at that event after winning it the year before. Yeah, that's well, pretty impressive. Think about this, that. This could be it here, Mike. 
Yeah, Meanwhile, eight. back here, Adams raced it up with Ace-10 suited. Pascal's three bet him yet again from the big blind. I think this is it. Yeah. But he has told one. He is all in, Mike. Yep. He is all in. Pascal will surely will not be folding Ace-Jack suited. Here we go. He calls, Mike. He calls. This could do it. Pascal has Ace-Jack against Ace-10 for the title here. Let's fucking go. This is the grand final main event. Everybody on their feet here in Barcelona. Well, <laughs> just moving all the uh, spectators off the stage. Well, Mike, five, five queen. Well, we have split chances. We sure do. Five, five queen. And he needs three tens to win it, but he's going to have a lot of outs to split. Well, three, another out to split. He can split with a three. A five or a queen, he can split all those cards. And a 10 will win in the pot. Any other card? Like a father to be. Seven of diamonds, Mike. There it's it over. Is. He has done it. The man from Montreal has won. Emma's right there to cheer him on. Well, Mike, he said it. I mean, he's he's a super nice guy, clearly. I mean, uh, I've only spoken to Adam a few yeah. times. I've actually shared a, shared a final table with him at the World Series once, but oh. I know uh, a few of his friends and everyone speaks very, very highly, and it comes across there what a super nice yeah. guy he is. Yeah. Very, very humble. I think he's downplaying it a little bit there. He himself is a superb... Yeah.